18th century maps referred to it as Ile du Choc. One 19th century map had the word hospital written below its name. More recently, it's been associated with Nobel laureate Derek Walcott. But we know it best as Rat Island, and Janelle Charles takes us on location to uncover some of its history and talk about its present and future. On location today, we've teamed up with the Marine Unit to get to a place that has been uninhabited since the 1980s. It's a historical name. I meet it there, so I, 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 I didn't know. So I just don't know the name is there. Maybe it's shaped like a rat, or they admit rat there. But there's no rat there now. No rat there. Old maps of the 18th century referred to the island in Shock Bay as Isle du Shock, but as far back as 1883, one map referred to it as Rat Island with the word hospital in brackets underneath. One may conclude that someone gave the island a nickname which stuck with it, a nickname which presumably referred to the rats that were on the island. In the 1950s, Rat Island was leased to Lord Walston. He vacationed on the island in the winter with his family and his wealthy British friends. They enjoyed the view, they enjoyed the breeze, and quiet place. It's a quiet place, so it, it's lovely. What about the nuns? Well, the nuns used to come in every August um, for school holiday. They bathe, swim, and they enjoyed the breeze, you know. Hell, always breezy. The building that once accommodated those seeking a perfect holiday has since fallen into ruin as a result of neglect following the passage of Hurricane Allen in 1980. Government's priority then was to rehabilitate the mainland. In my quarters, when the roof turned chair up on me, um, about two o'clock in the morning, so I shift to a uh, another wall house there and I sleep there till next day. I had some guests during that time in a guest house there. Um, they was there and next day when we, when we wake up we see the sea of everything coming up you know it was bad. Everybody was afraid at that time but when, when they break, and we see they break, we still, we still alive, so we was happy to be alive. Rat Island is noted for other mishaps. Old newspapers speak of the occasional power and telephone failures which affected the island when low-flying small aircraft would cut the eight-foot high wires that connected the island to the mainland. Given that Rat Island has always been inhabited, Robert DeVoe in his book Historic Sites argues that the island is of little use as a natural resort. He writes against joining Rat Island to the mainland, saying that it presents a far more pleasing environment than a peninsula and that it promotes a feeling of isolation from a crowded world. The peace and tranquility of the three-acre island finds a favor with international artists. It just feels this is where work could be done, and it's not it's not sort of faked in any way. It just feels I'm, it feels like it would be very profitable for any writer who came here you know, to have the ocean, to have the the land, to have the the, the climate. You know, just perfect for any any writer. I can't imagine that they wouldn't sort of flock to it. I'd, I'd come here at the drop of a hat. It's a good place to draw, lovely place to draw. To encourage the development of the arts, government has vested the island to the Rat Island Foundation. It was also one way of honoring Derek Walcott after he received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1992. The plans remain the same to develop this place into a place where internationally writers could be invited to come, um, where we could have a band shelf for concerts and studios along these ruins that we have here and for 
educational purposes to have on Saturday mornings uh, young artists, school children um, or older, come over and be instructed just to have it, you know, really alert and, and working well. Well, I think what it would do for the island is obvious. I mean, it'll, it'll bring people here. It'll make a great... It's not only for the... It's not only really for St. Lucia. It's a Caribbean idea that could happen. But certainly in terms of the youth of St. Lucia and what it could do if the continuity continues, if, it, if the continu continuity is established, it would be phenomenal in terms of the exchange that could happen in terms of artists and so on. There'd be, there'd be no real place like it that I can think of geographically that has that kind of attraction. To it, you know, and there are many sort of other places in the world that have these things. But this particular, the fact that the island was given to the foundation threw me after the Nobel Prize is a great thing that the island did, and we have to fulfil that promise that is supposed to be here on the island. Financing for the projects of the Rat Island Foundation has been slow, although a number of local firms have made commitments towards the project. To date, two jetties have been constructed. One of the things that we perhaps we need to concentrate on is restoring the existing buildings. Um, they are structures, they're very solid structures, and I think um, we should concentrate on, on restoring these so that there is something, um, you know, that can be used on the island. So I think in terms of putting up the structures that we're talking about, which will include studios, a villa, a band shell, and other stuff, that, that'll come because people are enthusiastic about the idea. Um, in terms of planning and raising the money, we really have to get much more um, concentrated on what we're planning to do. As a result of world repute, Rat Island can make a significant contribution to the island's tourism trade. It has already been attracting the attention of visitors residing in neighboring hotels. For now, the access to Rat Island is limited. The reef and the strong current can make it difficult to swim across, and it would be wise to use a seaworthy vessel. Please be sure to contact the Rat Island Foundation first. That doesn't mean to say that we will prevent people from using the island. What we are saying is that we will have to, um, we'll ha we'll have to set the terms and conditions under which the island can be used. It's, 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 it's only prudent. But when you get to Rat Island, you will see that it offers solace from the hustle and bustle of the mainland and a great view of sections of the northern coastline of the mainland. There's also something for the geography buff who dares to explore Rat Island's coastline. But best of all, Rat Island is a great place for an afternoon siesta.